the moment I'm in the process of putting together an audio visual comprising of about 200 still images taken with my drone. Now I'm recording a voiceover for that and I'm struggling for content. I've got about seven minutes worth of images but only about three minutes worth of narration. So I wondered if I sat down and created a vlog using those images and talk to camera about what they mean to me, whether that would help me get over the mental block, the writer's block that I currently have with the script for my voiceover. Without further ado, let's roll the video. At first sight, this might look like a completely random and unconnected series of images. But of course, the theme is that they were all shot with a drone. And they're all taken from a position that I couldn't possibly have got myself into without the drone. Sure, I could climb a hill to get some elevation, but that doesn't allow you to simultaneously be 20 feet in front of a subject and 100 feet above it. Just to put this into perspective, up until a couple of years ago, I hadn't even driven a remote controlled car, let alone a remote controlled flying camera. So this has been a big learning experience for me and the purpose of putting the original audio visual together was to celebrate basically a full year's worth of drone photography. Every time I look at one of these pictures, I remember the pain that I went through learning how to fly the drone in the first place. The frustrations I had when I wasn't getting the results out of camera that I was hoping for. And also how over time I've realized that the drone has limitations. This camera is far inferior to any of my uh, mirrorless cameras, but if you use it properly and if you know what you're doing, you can get some very good results, as hopefully we're seeing on the screen at the moment.
the earlier pieces of the camera were all shot a couple of days ago and since then I've been busy working on this vlog looking at the images that I was using going back to my audio visual and I have to say that my hunch was correct working with the images in a slightly different way has enabled me to get a better idea in my own head how I want to complete my audio visual and uh, what the final thing is going to look like uh, I'm also quite pleased with the the flow of images it's a very eclectic mix but it's meant to be because it's about the versatility of the drone it's about my how I've learnt to use it what I can do with it and the range of images I can get with it um, there are a few images in there which were shot early in my drone career if you like and there are some more recent ones there's some shot in good light there's some shot in bad light but it's not in any sort of chronological order I clearly can pick out the early ones anyway I hope there's been something in the last seven or eight minutes that you can take away I do think that audio visual is a very very underrated and underused genre of photography I sometimes feel that as landscape photographers we get caught up in the wow you know it's got to be a big image and we forget sometimes that if we a quieter piece with half a dozen 12 images telling a story can be just as powerful and just as effective you look back at the old picture post magazines and the photo essays that they used very powerful stuff one or two wow images perhaps but all the others help to make up the story so next time you're out and the weather's not as good as you might want it or the conditions are not as you want them or you haven't got the light that you want or one of the myriad excuses we use for not getting exactly what we wanted think about that think about doing a picture story think even perhaps about doing an audio visual it's a really good way of learning to tell pictures with your stories anyway i hope you've enjoyed this and hope to see you next time thanks for watching bye